It is Sunday the 26th of September and I have done my last training run. I set a goal for 17 miles and I, I uh, chose a different route, a route that I've done, I did in the past. Um, it's, an, it's eight miles one way, eight miles, and so I, my plan was to do the eight miles uh, circuit, park at the Ponte Bull Park, start at the park and do the circuit, end up at the park, and then turn around and come back and end up at the park again. Uh, what I didn't take into account was the huge, mahusive hill that I encountered at mile 14. Around mile nine, ten, no, more like eleven, it started getting dark, and <clears throat> then the next few miles after that were in dark, and I, I was on streets that were mostly lit. But I don't really think I like running in the dark. It 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 made me feel like I had much farther to run, if that makes any sense. So psychologically, that. That had an effect, um, but I got to that hill and I I just had to stop. I couldn't. It was it was massive and it just kept going. So I didn't take that into consideration. Had it been had the road been flat, I would have met my goal. So I take heart in that, knowing that I I would have met my goal. This is the first goal. Uh, this is the first goal in a while that I that I've not met. So. I have to now, I have to protect my brain <laughs> to, from being disappointed, um, because it's, it's quantity, it's quality, not quantity. I have to realize this is training and that run was part of my training and it's not about the distance I do, but it's about every time I hit the road and run. I'm teaching my body. I'm 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 teaching my cardiovascular to to do what it needs to do. And yeah, I had to stop, and that's just the way of it. So uh, I have no more no more runs to do because the event is next week, next Sunday, and uh, I'm gonna need this week to recover and to rest. I need to really I need to get a lot of sleep. And I need to make sure I'm eating properly. I've been eating, eating okay for the most part, but you know, I could always do better with that. And uh, it's interesting the the two mile run I did a couple days ago really spooked me. <laughs> it's funny how I can go out and do ten miles, thirteen miles, whatever, and then I do this two mile run that was horrible, and it's almost like it was a battle of the mind, you know, all of those other big runs. It's almost like they didn't count. How weird is that? They did count because I accomplished them. But because of this two mile run that caused so much pain, I had to, I really struggled with it. So, so I, I didn't even do a pre, a pre run video. I didn't do a video in the middle of the run because I, I just was so focused. I was nervous. I was extremely nervous. And I I just didn't know how I was going to do because of that two mile run. And I I put the pad, I put the, the woolly pads on my heels like I was supposed to. And um within a couple minutes I was of, of running, I was feeling I was feeling fine. I was feeling good. In fact, the majority of the run was quite enjoyable. I had several moments of, of um, runner's high and I just was, I was loving it. It wasn't until it got dark and then hit that hill that I just, I stopped. So yeah, on the one hand I'm disappointed, but that's only because I don't, I don't like setting goals and not meeting them. Uh, I'm, it, it, it bothers me. It's like petting a cat backwards, you know? Uh, so I just have to get over it. Um, the event is next week and this happened in, this happened the last time I ran the marathon. I set a goal and I didn't meet it. 
and I would, and I freaked out then, but then I went and ran the marathon and, and I finished and, you know, it's such a party atmosphere. It's such a, there's people around you, other people running with you, spectators screaming your name. You get through it. You know, I, I got through it. I'm going to get through it again. So I'm confident that I will finish and I, I cannot let, I cannot allow my brain to <laughs> think anything different at this point. <laughs> I have to keep my focus. So, um, there you go. So I will, uh, continue my vlogs throughout the experience. So stay tuned more later.